In this video tutorial, we're going to be discussing minor pressure losses. And the reason they're called minor pressure losses is the pressure loss caused by these types of features within a pipework tends to have a much less significant impact than the effects of friction. However, in some instances, it is beneficial to evaluate the minor losses to get a truer picture of the total losses within a system. Now, the types of features that lead to minor pressure losses are things such as pipe inlets, as we see on the left hand side, square reductions and square expansions, what we see pictured here is a square reduction, and also when we have a flowing fluid coming into contact with a static fluid, as we'd see on the right hand side here, we would also incur minor losses. Now there's only really one formula that we need for calculating minor pressure losses, and we see it on the left hand side, where the pressure loss equals k rho u bar squared over 2. So PL represents the pressure loss. K is something called the resistance coefficient that we'll discuss in a moment. Rho is the density of the fluid. And u bar is the mean velocity squared. And again, we'll talk about that a bit more in a moment. So if we use as an example water, we know that water has a density of 1000 kilograms per meter cubed. Providing we knew the velocity either side of a feature, we could work out u bar. Because u bar, the mean average velocity, would just be the average between u1 and u2. So u1 plus u2 over 2 gives us u bar. And for some features, the value of k is known, and for other features, the value of k needs to be determined. Take, for example, where the flowing fluid comes into contact with a static fluid over here on the right hand side, the value of k would always be 1. For different pipe inlets here, we have different values of k. And in the bottom right hand corner, I've included a snippet from the equation sheet for this topic. We see, for example, if we have an inward projecting pipe, the K value is 0 0.78. And if we have a rounded or a filleted inlet, then the K value is dependent on this value here, which is a ratio of the fillet radius to the diameter. So if we first calculate R over D, and then we can find the corresponding K value based on that ratio. The other types of features that we mentioned were square reductions and square expansions. However, the calculation of the K value for these is dependent on a number of variables, such as the diameters of the upstream and downstream pipes. And that's a little bit beyond the scope of this video. So for the purposes of this video, we're going to focus on our pipe inlets. And let's start by considering an inward projecting pipe. So if this pipe was inward projecting, like so, then the losses are going to be greater than if we had a rounded inlet. We know that because the K value is 0.78 when compared with K values ranging between 0.04 and 0.28. So we have an inward projecting pipe and we have a fluid of density 1000 kilograms per meter cubed. What we need to determine is the velocity before and after that feature. So let's specify that our velocity in the first section of pipe U1 is 3 meters per second. And let's call the velocity of the fluid in the tank U0. So in this instance, our U bar value is going to be the average between U1 and U0. So U bar is U1 plus U0 over 2, or the average between those two velocities. Now here's the important thing. The velocity of the fluid in the tank is just going to be 0. The fluid's static, and it doesn't gain velocity until it enters into the pipe. Therefore, U bar is 3 plus 0 over 2, or in this case, 1.5 meters per second. So with that being said, we can calculate our pressure loss because our pressure loss is K from our table. We know that K for an inward projecting pipe 
is 0 0.78. In the brackets we have our density, 1000, times u bar squared, 1.5 squared, divided by 2, giving us a pressure loss equal to 878 pascals. So we're dealing with relatively small pressure losses here. Let's take a look at another example. And this time, let's assume that our section of pipe has a diameter D1 equal to 120 millimeters. And let's assume that we have a rounded inlet and the radius of that inlet is five millimeters. So the first thing that we need to do is find the value of our ratio, radius over diameter. In this case, it's the diameter of pipe one. Now, providing we use the same units for both the radius and the diameter, it doesn't really matter whether we work in meters or millimeters. So we'll work in millimeters as both of our units are in millimeters and we get five over 120, giving us a value of R over D equal to 0.042. So when we reference the R over D column here, we can see that our value of 0.042 rounded to two decimal places equals 0.04. Therefore, we're going to use a K value equal to 0.24. We're just reading that directly off of the table. So returning to our pressure loss formula, we have pressure loss equals K 0.24 times rho u bar squared over two. Well, we've already said rho is a thousand. Our value of average velocity is unchanged, so it's still 1.5 squared over two, giving us a pressure loss this time equal to 270 pascals. So once again, we have a relatively small pressure loss. So just to recap, we have one formula for calculating minor pressure losses, PL equals K rho u bar squared over two. U bar is the average of the velocities before and after the feature, and rho is the density of the fluid. Values of the resistant coefficient K can either be found through literature, as in the case of the table on the bottom right hand corner, or they can be calculated for features such as square reductions and square expansions. The process for calculating the resistance coefficient for square reductions and square expansions is a little bit more complex and is beyond the scope of this video. But it is something that can be done to determine the minor pressure losses that might exist in any given fluid pipework system. In the next videos, we're going to be looking at losses due to friction, which tend to be more significant than these minor pressure losses.